Hi, I'm Duke. And I'm Lola. And this is Bossa Nova Life. And we made it to the Lone Star State, baby. We are here in Austin for Lone Star Roundup. The largest custom culture event in the whole state of Texas. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. And for those of who don't know who you are, what is your name? Well, everybody knows me as Voodoo Larry. Voodoo Larry. Why would you be called Voodoo Larry? Oh, long story. But I started a car club called the Voodoo Kings back in 97. That's right. This year will be 25 years old. And yeah, so that's where I got the name from is my car club. And you got, an, <laughs> you got your amazing ride here today. Yeah, I got the, the Sahara. My first time in Texas. I've never been to Texas before, so it's my first time here in Texas. And first time showing my car at the Roundup here. This is the first time we've been in Texas as well. We came just for the Roundup. So it's bringing all the cool kids. Exactly. Not to right? put myself in the same category crazy man, crazy. as Voodoo Larry. I just want to, I just want to, I just want to point that out. I'm not, I'm not all the same. <laughs> nah, you're pretty damn cool yourself, though. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. No problem, man. So uh, how long did it take you to, uh, to uh, do this project from the beginning to end? Yeah, about two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah. And you're the man for the job, yeah. so I appreciate it. This is all after hours work, you know, because I have customers' cars to build. So this, mm -hmm. this was a put in 20 to 22 hour days. Well, that's something I, I, I see often with guys who run in shops, they don't have the time to, to do all of that. So well, you made the time. The time you spend is if you want your car done, you're gonna be in the shop till 22 hour days. <laughs> uh, that's 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 a true story and I can't, I can't like, Mentioned that enough. Oh, you know, so, so if you want so your cars done, I'm going to guess that you loved the Jetsons growing up as a kid. I did actually. <laughs> so the reason why I built this car, first of all, I'm going to go to the early days of George Barris and Sam Barris and the Barris brothers. They built a car called the Golden Sahara. Yeah. Well, 30, 30 some years ago, I fell in love with the Golden Sahara, and I didn't know the car was still around. Actually, well, obviously, you know it's been found, but. It was found right after my car was finished. But so anyway, back to the early days, I wanted to build a car like that, that people forgot about the show car era of the late 50s, early 60s, mm -hmm. which is your space age. Dream car. Finmobile, you know, Fender Scorch, all the modern amenities of home. Remember, your interior of your car looked like your home. You met your, co your, your couch in the back seat, your refrigerator, you got your telephone, you got your TV, your microphone, you got all kinds of cool stuff in there. You were welcome to step over and film inside when it's there. <laughs> but anyway, so anyway, I wanted to recreate a car that people forgot about the show car era. You know, this is like the space age stuff. So anyway, this is what I built here, and this is called the Voodoo Sahara. So I, bit, I did it as kind of a tribute to George Barris and Sam Barris. Um, of the Golden Sahara that they built. Well, I appreciate you bringing it. It's the fourth Thank time you. I've seen it, and it's just as amazing every single time. Means the world, man. The first Means time the I world. saw it rolling off a trailer, I was like, what <laughs> is that? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, so, fine, sir. Thank you, know you so much. I appreciate it. Keep on filming and doing some cool interviews. I'm honored to uh, be a part of this too myself, and uh, all I can say is crazy man crazy. <laughs> Voodoo out. Are you the keeper of the shark? 
I'm the keeper, but my son is the one that owns it. He, he, he went to get lunch. He got to put a record player in it and a little microphone in there. There is. Speaking of record players, we can even see where it's going to fit. Let's go get you one of those roadside distraction tickets. Driving while distracted. Eagle in her. Yeah. Oh, she's a pretty girl. Is this your first time at this, this show, huh? Yeah, this is our first time here. Oh. Busy. Yeah, we're real hoping busy. We'll, be, we'll probably have um, some of our cards tomorrow. Uh, we'll probably go to the of the day, or at least it's so sick. That's so sick. It looks cool on that. It looks cool. I should have brought my wide lens camera, but I didn't. I never know what I'm going to run into at car shows. Sometimes they stack the cars so tight together. My name's Daryl. And where are you from, Daryl? I'm from Daryl, Texas. Okay, so not too far away. No, not very far. Here. And uh, what have we got here? This is a, a 1955 Ford COE cab over engine that we did for a customer, Mike Dunlap. Uh, this is a two-year build. Uh, it's on a one-ton Chevy chassis with A1 uh, big block Chevy with Allison automatic. So you Russia modded it? Yes, it's got an air ride suspension. Nice. Uh, we've done all kind of modifications to it. Yeah, I can tell by taking a look at the outside of it. So uh, how much body work went into this? this? This cab was pretty rough. You know, we built everything you see, we built fenders. Uh, it's got a, got a two-inch drop top. Uh, that's it. Bumpers we made. Just we made all this stuff. Everything to make it work. Wow, it, it, it came out real nice, man. It, it looks like it literally rolled off a showroom floor or, or out of sorry out of the factory. Plus, it drives surprisingly well. But but, but better than the factory. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a cool old truck. Yeah, I love it, man. So so is he going to be pulling something with this, or is it no, all for looks? He just wanted a real. He, he likes these, this murdered out look. Yeah. And uh, he just wanted a real cool truck. He that's drives. That's a phrase I haven't heard in a while, the murdered out look. But that's what I always say. My <laughs> wife looks at me, ah, she's like, where did you get that from? I'm like, that's what everybody says. Yeah, we put some bright stuff on it. Uh, a lot of the fasteners and stuff were bright, were stainless. And he came in and said, nope. Got to be black. Just black on black. Black on black. I said, okay, I'll go with the black. I don't know. In Texas, it seems like seems like a tough move, but hey. Yeah. Well, we got air conditioning in there, so <laughs> you have to crank it up. <laughs> Oh my God, Lola, I think I found your favorite car here at the event. I like this car. I like the pink. I like the sparkles. Does I it have the razzle dazzle like. that you're looking for? It's the razzle and the dazzle. <laughs> and all of the wind as well. <laughs> yeah, the wind. It's crazy. What's your dog's name? Hank. Hank? Oh, Hank, it looks like it. Hank looks like a Hank. Yes. <laughs> Hank the Tank. Hank the Tank, yeah. Hank the Ham Chop. <laughs> oh, I like Hank the Ham Chop. This is 63, baby. Is this your ride? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. So how long have you had it? Uh, we bought it probably four years ago at the show. At the show? Yes. Well, what better way? You brought it back. Yep. <laughs> we saw a for sale sign on this lady and we took it right mm -hmm. off. I think Lola would have done the same. Yeah. Have you done anything since you got it? We replaced the drivetrain. Okay. Okay. Um, that's what my husband tells me. Yeah. And uh, we need to fix this convertible part, but that's a real tricky mechanical thing. The so, hydraulics are messed up on it or something like that? Uh, no, the, the mechanical function oh, is okay. super funky. But we got a card from a gentleman yeah. that just stopped by, so we're going to reach out to him. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you bringing in this ride, and you look dazzling sitting in the back of it. Thank so, you. what You're more sweet. can you want on a sunny day? That's right. And top notch. That was one that was on the list too.
worked through three parking lots, an entire field, and came down to this to see that it just keeps going and going and going down here at Lone Star. It is out of control. We got this dragon of a rat rod right next to this slick. This slick piece. Yeah, it's an automatic. It helps out a lot. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. The process has come back and everything, so. My name is Trampia, T-R-A-M-P-I-A, Guzman, G-Z-M-A-N. Nice. And are you from Austin? I'm locally born and bred right here from Austin, Oh, Texas. I like to hear that. And what yeah. have we got here? I, I love the Fleet Master. We have a 1947 <laughs> Chevrolet Fleet Master. Uh, it was actually a gift from my wife for our 20th year uh, wedding anniversary. Well, congratulations. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. She gave it to me. It wasn't in this condition when we got it, but nonetheless, uh, we've been working on it for about the past five years, and it's into this, in this condition that you see it now. Wow. Did you do all the, the paint on the roof as well? As a matter of fact, yeah, we did. We took it down. It had five coats of paint on it, so we took it all the way down to the bare metal, uh, then built it back up. Uh, my uh, good friend of mine, uh, Gizmo Coronel of Crazy Customs, he's the one who actually took it down and he did, uh, I gave him full range on what to do with the car. He's the artist. Um, I just said I wanted si silver and black and I wanted patterns on top and I let him do his thing. I silver didn't get and black to see is it. a clean look, man. Yeah, it's, it's also hard to keep clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what's it running? Uh, it's running a 350 Chevy with a 350 turbo, a three speed transmission in it. Okay. Uh, and it's got a rear end out of a G body. So this is a driver? This is a driver, yes, sir. Yeah, I like to hear that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't see a trader uh, only unless I'm going out of state. Out of if I'm state, going out okay. of state, then yeah, it'll, it'll see a trailer. Uh, right, Texas man. is so big. Did it come with the fender skirts and everything? It didn't come with the fender skirts when I got it. Uh, everything you see on it, all the chrome that, that's on it, is all actually brand new chrome. Oh, wow. Um, it, it's re chromed, I should say. Yeah. Uh, when I purchased the vehicle, when my wife purchased the vehicle for me, it had nothing but. Uh, it was painted. It was a 90s resto mod, yeah. and so it was painted. All the chrome was painted. It didn't have any chrome emblems on it, nothing whatsoever. So all the chrome that you see on the car, uh, even to the original wheels, we put those on there because they had aftermarket wheels, which are like 20s. Well, I like you bringing it back to OG. I like that custom uh, visor there as well. Yeah, it's a Fulton, straight out of California. As a matter of fact, I just got that for this show, so I'm super excited to even have it on the car. Uh, we actually put that on on Thursday night. Uh, it arrived via uh, FedEx, so we put it on, and we're out here this weekend. Well, you guys are lucky. It's my uh, first time to Lone Star. Star, and this is an amazing event. So yeah, this is actually my right. 15th year, so uh, I'm excited to see it grow over the over the time, and so I'm just glad Boston Nova Life could be a part of it and come down here and be in Austin, Texas. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. The new life, that's all they say, cause I'm not tall to tell to the children day. Move on to blue man, move on to blue man, move I try to move me on down the line. Well, I'm all smart, looking behind, be hard to tell the night tonight. Move on to blue man, move on to blue man, move I try to move me on down the line. I'm 
was wrong, the race was wrong We can't tell to come to the Move hard, drop, move, man Move hard, drop, move, man Move hard, drop, move, me all down the night I should have known that Lola would immediately pick out the Chrysler Imperial. I love it. I love everything about it. I love the fins. I love the color. I always have to look at the real color. <laughs> yeah. Fins for days. Fins for days. Fins for days. I mean, look at the, just the logo is pretty. Everything about it is pretty. I know. So. You have a thing for Chrysler and Girl. I do. Right here. Oh, yeah, you're all set. Is this a new set. camper that you're after a while? I mean, it has air conditioning. There's a flat screen TV. It's pretty oh, yeah. comfy in there. Did you drive it here like this? Yes. I Yesterday, like I drove 200 miles to get here. Man, you, I bet you get Lux. Yeah. <laughs> Did you stop to take a nap halfway? Because that would be perfect place. You could yeah. just, you know, no, side of the road. Naps after I got here. <laughs> yeah. I, I like it. I slept here last night. Oh, really? Was it quiet and comfy? Or was the show has been going for hours, and they are still rolling in <laughs> as we speak. They're just not stopping here. Uh -huh. They're just going to keep bringing these cars I in until so there's no just, more places oh, yeah. to put them. Yeah. Thomas has been here. How many years have you been here, Thomas? This is my third time. Third time, okay. And you tell me it's always like this. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to think we need to come back. Though. I think we're going to have to come back, yes. It's a fun <laughs> show. <laughs> Is this how you guys do it at Lone Star? Is that what's up? This is amazing. Well, we've been checking out all the cars, Lola, and you were pointing out that one thing we forgot. The swap meet. We got to check it out. How did we forget the swap meet? And this thing looks out of control. This event is so big. So we've given up on the cars because we've been here for eight hours between yesterday and today. There's so many, we could not actually get them all. But we are going to head here into the swap meet inside where it's a little cooler. And the swap meet is massive, so let's check this out. Come on in. You need parts for your roadster? So you got them. Oh my gosh, well, uh, so there's so much here, I don't know if we really want to show everybody all of the swap meet, but it goes through this massive building from one end all the way down to the other, and we have been checking it out. Yeah, I was trying to find some cowboy boots, a little bit of but uh, I didn't find any today. Yeah, you might find some cowboy boots if we keep looking. We've got the murdered out long roof. I love that interior. Whose ride is this? It's mine. It's yours. Yeah. This is amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Did you get it in this condition? No, no. Uh, me and my dad got this car out of a junkyard when I was 13. I like the story already. Yes. Yeah. So do tell how, how many years did you work on it then? Uh, basically since then. Yeah, so it was my first car. So yeah. my dad picked it up and got it running. I drove it through high school. I drove it through tech school. And then uh, when I got my first real job, I started restoring it. And uh, that's been, what, 20 years? So did you sand and buff it yourself, or did you pay every, somebody else? I've done every, everything. Wow. I wow. painted it myself in an inflatable paint I like boot. this story more and more. Yeah. An inflatable paint booth? Yep, yep, oh, they wow. make inflatable paint booths. I painted it in that. Uh, I spent years and years buffing the trim and doing the body work. I think the body work took about two years. Nothing that's been untouched on this car. Well, I love the fact that you've kept it OG and you need to chop the top or anything. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was Really important to me is the interior look exactly like it did from the factory. So, uh, so the car is on airbags and has you know a ton of technology in it, but you yeah. wouldn't be able to tell just by looking in the interior. So Everything you is modern it a little bit. Yeah, so it's uh, like it's fuel injected, and you know, but it, I wanted to maintain a you know traditional hot rod feel, just kind yeah. of with the with the nice color. Um, but yeah, so I have no airbag gauges or anything like that displayed. Uh, the radio. You know, it's an aftermarket radio, but it looks exactly like it would have. Sounds like you made it also very comfortable to ride it. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and more importantly, yeah. he drives it. Yes. That's what yeah. we like to hear. This, this isn't going on a trailer, so. No, no, no. This car's never been on a trailer. These are my friends from high school. We, we used to drive this to high school.
Rough Riding Horse. Yeah, so you guys wrote this thing when it was a little sketchier than this. Oh, yeah. You're still alive, though. American Steel. It was very sketchy. It was very sketchy. It was a little... Yes. Well, you guys paid your dues now, so you get to ride it in now. It's a little bit safer now. That's right. He knows you You like him for him, not for his car back then. Yes. Yeah. Now you got to be... Now you got to look at people. Yeah, yeah. We took this to... Me and her took this to prom. Wow. Yeah. You know that's a keeper when she ro rolls yes. with you in a primered car. Yes, yeah, I'm surprised she stayed with me after that. <laughs> right. Well, let's get your name. What is your name? I'm Jesse. Jesse, and you're from Austin? Yes. Nice. Well, right. Very nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nice to meet you guys. We're almost done with our with our whole video here, and the last interview may be the best one. So oh, awesome. Yeah, like so, leave a couple with you guys, but oh, this sweet. is our YouTube channel. Our info's on the back. Oh, cool. Uh, we go around. Bossa Nova.